Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I have another video, finally. It's been quite a while since I made a video, but that is because it's been the busy interview season for this application cycle for genetic counseling. So I do apologize for that, but I am able to start making some more videos now because I'm all done with the applications and everything um, and the interviews. So I'll, the, the issue is I didn't want to give out too much information about what was going on because while I do want to be transparent about the process and provide information about that, I definitely didn't want to um, disclose anything inappropriately about any programs that I was involved with and have that affect uh, their privacy or my own in any way. So after the match day, I'll be more comfortable disclosing all that stuff and, and where I applied and where I interviewed um, and some of those details because then the cycle will be over and it, it won't impact anything in that way that uh, might just be like unprofessional. So that's why I haven't been posting that much about this stuff, but I will go back and make some videos about this process because it's definitely uh, been really interesting to learn about uh, how this process works and have some more insight after going through it myself. So I definitely will make some videos about interviews and about um, more application materials. It's a, definitely just something that I wanted to stay away from out of a professionalism concern. So that's the deal uh, with the past couple months or couple weeks, but basically what happened as a summary, I applied to five schools this cycle. I got interviews from three of them and I went to visit one of them. So I just visited this past weekend at one of the schools that I interviewed with. Uh, all the interviews I thought went really well. They were a great experience. It was really nice to meet all the program and some students from the program. They all had a kind of a similar uh, style in some regards and other in other ways they were different. So I can share some of that um, perhaps after the match day occurs. But um, after match day, I'll definitely make a video updating about how that went and uh, where I end up matching with. So I'm very excited for that. That's in 11 days from now. So it's getting really, really close and it's really exciting. So um, that's kind of the summary of what's been going on for my application cycle. But in terms of this video, uh, for some more content that is not concerned with any of that, I want to talk about the Discord for genetic counseling. Um, I spoke about the Reddit in the past and how Reddit is a really good resource for genetic counseling students and for especially prospective students. But there's also a Discord server for genetic counseling applicants, um, which has been extremely helpful. And so the Discord, if you're not familiar with it, it's just a platform that is uh, allows people to have different communities that have a server and then within that server there's different channels you can have that allow for different conversations to take place uh, about different aspects of the community in which you are involved so in this case it's a genetic counseling applicant discord and so there are some genetic counselors in there some genetic counseling current students uh, at different programs and there are also some um, mainly a ton of different current applicants for genetic counseling so this has been a really helpful resource. The most helpful thing I've gotten from it is about interview invites and notifications. So when the interviews are sent out, the at least for my experience, every interview I received was in the form of an email from that program uh, inviting you to interview and sign up for a date to interview. Um, so the way that worked is just an email into your inbox. And the issue is uh, just in terms of knowing when that was gonna happen, it was really reliant upon this Discord server where as soon as someone got a interview invite from a school, they would put that in the chat and they would say, the invites for XYZ program just came out. So, you know, go check your inbox if you applied there and if you're expecting an interview. So um, at that point you could go check. And so there were several times where this let me find out that I should go check my email. And then that's really helpful. Obviously you would you'd probably find that eventually in your email, but. For instance, there was one program where I knew there was only a couple dates that would work for me for the interview. And so seeing that Discord notification allowed me to really quickly go check my email, find the interview invitation, and go sign up for the date I wanted that worked best for my schedule. So that's something that was really helpful. And um, in general, it just helped with the anxiety of waiting for those interviews because you could see how a lot of the programs did their interviews in multiple waves. So you might see, oh, the program X just released their interview invitations and then perhaps you didn't receive an invitation. Um, but
but then you could also see that maybe no one else received the rejection yet either. So you might still be in the game, you might still be contending for an interview. And then when another wave came out, maybe you were involved in that wave of interview invitations, um, things of that nature. So it was a really helpful resource for that part of the interview process. And that's something that was really taking place probably two months ago or three months ago. So in terms, that's how the interview invitations worked. But then uh, there's another really helpful resource that draws on the past experience of different students. So the people who made this this Discord server and who maintain it and um, administrate it, they have a ton of really good resources that uh, are regarding the past year's program dates and program experiences. So what I mean by that is there's some resources that are compiled of the different dates in the past years when invitations were released. So this was really helpful because you could see as you're waiting and waiting for these interviews to come out, while you do have a pretty good gauge, most of them come out about mid-February is what they claim, uh, mid-February through March. And so being able to look in the past and say, oh, well, this program I'm waiting for, it, last year it came out on February 20th. And so as February 20th this year is approaching, that's a pretty appropriate expectation to have in terms of about when you could expect those to, to come out. Obviously, at some point you just have to wait and it's just very ang anxious and um, you know it, a lot of anticipation comes with that, but it is helpful to have some kind of gauge based on the past year's experience. And so that goes back a couple years actually. Um, there's also a spreadsheet that's compiled about the current status of every school. So whether rejections uh, were received, whether wave one or two or how many of invitations were sent out for each school and whether the invitations are done being sent out all those different things really helped you gauge where you stand with the current process. And so that was really helpful as well. And then finally, um, another great resource is a post interview uh, feedback kind of. So there's a Google forms they sent out where after you do your interview, if you're willing to jot down some comments about how it went and how the experience was, then essentially that data could be compiled into this resource where you could see um, what people thought about the program, how that might have compared or contrasted to your expectations of the program, or just overall give you some new insight into how that program operates and how it feels to uh, interact with and interview with that program. So I will put a link in the description of how to access the Discord. Uh, overall, it's been a really helpful resource that I would encourage anyone to take advantage of. I didn't find out about it and start using it until around the time I was doing my interviews and I'm honestly not sure how I came about it, maybe from the Reddit for genetic counseling, but um, if I knew about it sooner, I probably would have been involved with it sooner and really taken advantage of it as a prospective student who was gearing up to apply, because I'm sure there's a lot of advantages to having your foot in there a little bit earlier and just benefiting from the community of genetic counseling prospective students. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I will put the link for the Discord in the description so you can go enter that chat if you would like to and start using that as a resource uh, for your applications and just for gaining more information about genetic counseling. And other than that, I will be posting some videos as match day approaches. Um, after match day in a couple days here, I will be able to post some more videos about what the interview process was like and kind of things about my applications in a little bit more detail once um, everything is said and done. So I will keep you posted on that and stay tuned for some more videos. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.